Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 71 of Let's Play as Granada in EU4. So I am definitely gearing up to war here. So we're sending the transports over. In fact, you know what, we, don't, we really don't need to send the entire fleet there. Let's just, um, let's break them up into separate teams right now. I do want to have at least a couple heavies. Just, I just don't feel comfortable leaving the ship completely isolated. So, okay, you heavies can stay up here. U-45 with the 39 transports can go down there. I'm going to go pick them up. We might want to try to time it so that this war happens right as we pick up the next idea group. Or, sorry, the next level of military tech. Because, you know, they're at level 22. Portugal's at level 22. I'm at level 22. But if we have level 23, that tactics advantage, Wow. And look at the tactics. Cavalry shock. Tactics plus 0.5. You get a better cannon and you get a better infantry. We can even go check them out. See how much better they're going to be. At 23 we can choose from these. Look how many more pips they get. Like look at those ones. The Caroline infantry. Holy smokes. They have 8 offensive morale. Six defensive morale. That's two more defensive morale than the Highlanders. They've got five. Actually, not quite as much offensive shock score, but they've got way more offensive fire. They're just way better. Better in every way. We have gained the Conquest Cassis Ballet against... Great Britain. Now we are end up we are paying thirty eight gold now in our colonies. It's funny in the beginning of the game thirty eight gold seems like a ton. Now it seems like nah, you know it is what it is. Not much more we can colonize over here. Really, not much more to be colonized anywhere at this point. We are seeing more and more of the map getting revealed. Our troops are in position for this. Um, this borders Portugal, so we won't even need a conquistador actually. We'll be able to just walk right in. So, group one is the offensive fleet. Group two, we will make into the transport fleet. I said group two, not group one. Group one, group two, okay. We won't be able to fit all the troops on there, but... Might even want to... Um, Wrap up the in the uh, oh that's even better yeah. Wrap up the in the annexation of the Inca and then these troops will update to the new troop type. Give them a couple months to get their morale, and then they're right here to go into the south. This is going to be a blitzkrieg. These guys are going to be so they're going to get hammered. We could build more ships. I have some money. We definitely want to take on Defender of the Faith before we go into this war just for even more morale. Land morale's at 3.2 because I'm not I'm not paying for my troops right now. It'll go up pretty high soon. The Ottomans want military access. Uh, no. You attacked my vassal. I'm not happy with you. Probably not going to do more colonies since we're gearing up for war. Just let these finish. These guys would be fine. Am I am I doing a good job with my diplomats? Um, we need to continue fabricating claims here. In fact, our truce timer is done in just a year. But I remember Oman was going to take two more wars, and I don't want to... Oof. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. The, the problem here is the timing is great. But anything I take from these guys is going to give me overextension, and I'm already really overextended, so it's going to be a mess to, to try to do this. While I have all of this Oman land. Ugh. 
Well, we're just going to have to deal with being overextended, I guess. I mean... What's the worst thing that could happen, right? Being stupendously overextended. You are my ally. I can probably count on you sieging Seuta. Almost have the Inca finished. We can pick up the military tech now. Let's hold on, though, until we're ready to declare war. I don't want to... There's still a chance we might be able to get it down by 10%. Get that ahead of time penalty to go down by a, a little bit. Alright, one more percent. And a colony finishes. Cool. Score it. Oh, I probably need to pick up these troops, don't I? So we can take 39 regiments. 39 should be sufficient. Let's bring them over here. Castile does have some sort of an army here because they're, they're sieging Brittany. It's probably not very big. Although it could be. You never know. They might have one of their two, 20 regiment stacks. Integration has happened. Um, we've finished them. We've gained the colonialism, Castispelli versus Portugal. So the Incan thing is done. We have some more ships over here now. They are what kinds? Regular barks. Wow, they're crap. And early carracks and a cog. We're just going to disband these ships. They're, those ones are garbage. And these ones, do we care about trade? Do we care about having the money go to here so that it can go to here so that it can go away? No, we don't. So these barks, I think, need to just go home. Why is it showing me the uh, the, the path of the, the other ships here? It just, it was stuck on the screen for some reason. Hmm. Alright, so those guys are going there. You guys are pretty much all infantry, which is fine. They're getting updated so they can't move. But we're going to position them to start sieging down here. We'll probably want to blitz siege the inland lake. In fact, maybe we just keep these ships here to blockade. Because we can... Yeah, we can, we can blockade a bunch of this stuff. Barks can be used for blockading, why not? Are we looking at force limit now? Way over my force limit. Like, stupendously over my force limit. I could have sworn that I had been building stuff to increase my force limit. A unique building that increases yearly legitimacy. Apparently we have some places we can build some... some naval bases. Seems perfectly reasonable. Very expensive, but more naval force limit can't hurt. Um, I'd like to get some more land force limit, honestly. All right, so what are we waiting for? I don't want this war to end. Damn it, the war did end. Son of a. Hmm. May have missed my window here. Target of the coalition of Oman and Persia. So that doesn't matter because we're not declaring war with Persia, Persia or Oman right now. I still think we're going to do it. They don't have very many allies. Portugal is only... Well, they're allied with Burgundy and Naples. Burgundy is allied with lots of people. So we could see some chain allies. I don't know, but I, I just feel like we have such a strong navy. I think I'm the only person that has two deckers. Portugal has level 20, Diplotech, Castile's at level 17, I'm at level 22. Maybe we just build a bunch more dip double-deckers and just do it anyway. Seven more of them. Sounds good. Is my transport done yet? No. Okay. 71 heavy ships. No Carracks. No no two-deckers are in this fleet right now. That's right, I've got 28 of them protecting the trade ships. Let's pull the, the heavies off and just combine them all. The trade ships will be fine on their own, whatever. The light ships, excuse me. 
How are these colonies doing? Are they done yet? It's going to be a little while. Apparently he was in the process of building stuff. New idea. Leaders without upkeep plus one. And we can get advisor costs minus 25%. It's either that or work towards level 20 and 21 admin tech and maybe unlock another idea group. I think I want to max this out. I mean, right now we've got level three commander, or level three advisors across the board. It's costing us 92 gold a month. So that alone is uh, almost 25 gold a month in savings. And we get an extra leader without upkeep. And apparently we get the pass the school establishment act. Build costs go up, production efficiency goes up, stability cost goes down. Why would we want this? Most of our money comes from taxation. Why would we want a lower taxation in favor of production? Just because stability cost goes down? I, I don't really see stability being an issue right now. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I have a spare diplomat, which makes me think that it is almost time to declare war. We don't really need to wait for the fleet to be there, do we? I guess so. I want to make sure that it's there and that it's it's safe and that you know, because it's just trade ships for the most transports for the most part. They are suffering some attrition, but they can repair. So ships are so much more stable after level 22. Don't tell me you guys have gone up to 23. Damn it! Portugal went up to level 23. <laughs> Oh, that's right. We do want to wait. We want to go up to level 23 and then wait three or four more months. So we should do it now. Um, because it's going to take time to get the morale up for the new troop types. So we're going to take new military tech. We're going to take the... Probably these ones. I like their offensive fire. And for the cannons, we'll take just the better cannon. And now we just have to wait. The only thing is we don't have any cavalry with these armies. But I'm already so far over my my land force limit that um, I don't think we're going to want to get more. 5, 2, 3. That's pretty good. You can have four leaders without upkeep and we don't really have any. Um, <laughs> Those guys are pretty darn good. The problem is that my, my transport, my trade ships that are out here are probably going to get killed if, I, if I'm not paying attention. All hell's about to break loose because we're going to declare war soon. As soon as we get full morale. Alternatively, just, just to think about it here. Alternatively, I could just wait, finish up the acquisition of Oman, get rid of the overextension, and allow me to take even more from Portugal and Castile. But that does put off my plans for probably 10 years, and it also like pretty much eliminates the advantage that I have in military tech against Castile. I mean, Portugal already has matched us. So I guess our... I don't know. I feel like, yeah... I mean, the if we declare war on Oman, we end up at war with Persia, and that's fine.
Okay. I think that makes more sense. We're going to declare war on, on Oman again. Because if I go into the war with Castile and Portugal, and I'm planning on taking tons of their colonies or something, then I'm going to have a really, really hard time with overextension. So I need to have lots of space available to, to acquire them. I think my inflation goes down by default, so... Don't really need to worry about it, do we? All right, well, we have the spare the spare guy right now, um, and actually we also have the spare relationship since we finished the Inca. Maybe we work towards Sindh, even though it's really tiny, just because I want... I'm going to want this, uh, this country. Hindu. Mostly Hindus here. Baluchistan is... Sunni. They're a single county, though. Khorasan. Hmm. See, Khorasan's probably someone that I might be able to diplo annex at some point. Let's improve relations with them, and let's improve relations with Sindh for now. Hmm. I'm going to keep the heavy fleet over there. I don't think we really need to blockade Oman at all. Okay, let me know what your thoughts are. I, I really feel like this is the best move. To just, I mean, we're at 84% overextension. It just doesn't seem smart. To go, like, 10 years being at 200 overextension seems crazy. So, all right, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.